Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane. You might not recognize this makeup. I just posted a tutorial on it not too long ago and I'm really in the filming mood today. <laughs> I came across this product and I've learned my lesson from buying Facebook products, but I don't think I saw this first advertised on Facebook. Maybe I did Maybe I didn't, I don't remember, <laughs> but I found it on Amazon and I ended up ordering it. It is this crazy looking thing, but I am all about making my mornings easy. I have a baby on the way. I have a five-year-old in school. My mornings are a little occupied, especially because I also work Monday through Friday and I do YouTube on the side. I'm always busy and there's maybe one day a week that I actually get an opportunity to fully get ready in the morning. Most of my effort usually goes into my makeup and I tend to just throw my hair up into a messy bun. But the problem is I don't look cute in messy buns. I don't know what it is, but some girls can just dee -dee 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 throw it up and look super cute and super put together. I look like a lumberjack. When I saw this product, yes, I was skeptical, but it was cheap enough and I really wanted to try it. That little girl inside of me was just <laughs> hoping it might work. <laughs> so I went on Amazon and I will link it down below, the exact one that I got if you want to try it out. It kind of looks like an animal, <laughs> but it is this faux, not even, it's not like a sock, but it's literally a, a hair tie with hair on it. <laughs> this pretty much looks like my hair tie when I pull them out of my hair at the end of the day. <laughs> but it's supposed to give you a super quick and perfect messy bun without all the effort. So we're going to try it today. Um, I did see, I watched a quick video on YouTube as well. I think it was of like a mother and a daughter trying it out and I just... I don't know, I have high hopes for this product to be honest with you. I did get ready yesterday, Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays tend to be those days that if I'm gonna get fully ready, it's gonna be one of those days. So I did have my extensions in from yesterday and then my morning was so busy this morning getting Ella up and ready for school that I slept in my extensions and threw my hair in a ponytail, which I don't recommend, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> so I am just going to take, remove my extensions for a minute. And honestly, I really hope this product ends up working out because now that I'm working five days a week, I'm not styling my hair every day like I used to. Um, you know, I work in a restaurant, so my hair has to be like pulled back. So I feel like indirectly, this also gives like my hair a break and a chance to actually grow, um, which I'm super excited about because I'm definitely getting some length to my hair. I've had no problem ever maintaining the thickness of my hair because it's ridiculous, but the length is something that I've always struggled with and I felt like it had to do a lot with teasing it constantly. I cut way back on like washing it, like I wash it once, maybe twice a week if I get like significantly dirty or I sweat a lot or I'm just noticing my hair getting a little greasy before I wanted to wash it. So at the most, twice a week. But even then, I've been staying away from harsh shampoos. Like I'll just rinse my hair and then use like a good conditioner. So I'm really trying um, to grow my hair. The thing is, I don't, I don't use like hair vitamins, I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just because I've never like used them, used them, but I just, I, I feel like they're a little scammy. I don't feel like, I feel like you could get the same kind of result if you just took like a good multivitamin, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know too much about it, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it because <laughs> somebody out there will tell me to shut up because I don't know what I'm talking about, but, um. I don't know, I, I've just never like kind of gone above and beyond to find a way for my hair to grow. But since having a daughter, all I know is that like, we don't style our hair, you know, that she puts no heat on her hair. I wash her hair just as much as I wash mine and her hair grows like a weed. So I just kind of took inspiration from her hair and I am applying it to my own. And it's definitely, it's growing guys, it really is. It like was just, 
just past my boob. <laughs> it was just past my boob not long ago, and we're already getting a couple inches below. So I'm really excited. And again, I'm hoping that not styling it at least five days a week and then protecting it on the days that I do style it, um, we're gonna see more growth. But anyways, this is my natural hair. Um, I do have some like leftover tees from my <laughs> from my hair. So what I normally do, and bear with me because I'm also working with my viewfinder, I might go get a mirror real quick. I'd assume that you could do this on both clean and dirty hair. My day, my hair is probably, I washed it a couple days ago, so it's a couple days old. Um, I could probably go like maybe one or two more days with it. but. I'm probably honestly gonna end up washing it tonight because I'm gonna be self tanning and I kinda like to correlate my self tanning routine with my hair washing routine. <laughs> this is so obnoxious. Every time I break out, I get this like big white circle around. <laughs> it's so obnoxious, I'm sorry. Now that I've pointed it out, you're not gonna be able to stop staring at it. My foundation like does not stick to blemishes. It's bizarre um but anyways i am just curious if this is gonna give me that really nice messy look in just a couple of minutes i did bring a couple things over however um i do have another elastic because whenever i put my hair up in a messy bun i usually first tie it in a high ponytail like where i want the bun to sit i always use a secondary elastic to actually create the bun so that's probably what i'm gonna do even with this product here i'm treating it as just another elastic i did get it so it's like it has little highlights in it as well because my hair is still highlighted. Definitely has grown out since I filmed the highlighting video. Um, I, I need to redo it. It's fading a bit, but one thing at a time. So I'm just going to try it. Today's video is honestly probably going to be pretty short. Um, but I'm just curious about these products because sometimes I'll come across these products I'm so skeptical about. But I just, I really want to try. So... What I normally do, I honestly like styling my hair better when it's dirty. That's why I figured today would be a perfect day before I wash it tonight. But what I normally do is pull it up really, really high. And again, I really do like styling it dirty because I already kind of have that volume. Whereas if I'm clean, if I'm putting my hair up when it's freshly washed, it's much more um, limp. It's like a limp noodle. I already have some volume in my hair to work with which is really nice and then I'm just using my what is going on and then I'm just using my teasing brush just to lightly um comb out any of the little bumpies why am I so gassy and then I'm gonna take my first elastic elastic what what did I just say elastic is that right? That doesn't sound right. I don't know why that word sounds so weird. Elastic? Elastic, yeah. Okay. Mm. I still have some bumps in my hair, but it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I use the back of my teasing comb and my fingers to kind of push my hair up a little bit if you lost any of that volume when tightening the elastic. <laughs> Um, I'll worry about like any little bumps later on. I'm not too worried about it, but this is, you know, I could go out like this, but I usually don't. So what I'm going to do next is just put it around my hand and this is where the learning curve is going to come in. So I'm going to tighten this a little bit and then I'm just going to, how do I want to do this? I guess I'm just going to pull my hair through and then wrap it around and then something like what <laughs> do you see what's going on okay let's try that again um <laughs> all right let's try it um so it's like okay pulling it kind of through and then wrapping it again okay that's a better one but I have these like weird little hairs here which I can just kind of hide. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to, I'm, I'm finagling it a little bit. It wasn't like it was 
perfection on the first try, but oh, that's not bad. Okay, a little awkward, like I can't like tighten it the way that I would um, normally, but what I'm gonna do after pulling this out a little bit more, so I did grab a couple of bobby pins just in case, and I'm gonna try to pin a couple where I feel like I'm not really getting that much security. Yeah, that, that second time <laughs> was better than the first. Just so with anything new, you know, it's gonna probably just take a little bit of learning. Oh goodness, I'm like pulling out my real hair now. Oh gosh. One thing that I will say as I'm pinning this is as I was like wrapping the scrunchie around my hair, um, there wasn't like a lot of give and with for a girl with thick hair or like if you have really 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 long hair You might struggle with this product because it doesn't seem like again. It has that much stretch I feel like it would work better for women that have like Shoulder length and shorter of hair. I'm sure you could get away with it if you had longer hair too Mine's a little bit longer than shoulder length Huh? What do you what do you what do you guys think? Uh, I'm not mad. I okay. Uh, mm Did this product actually work? <laughs> so excited, guys! I'm excited. I uh, I really didn't think this would work. Um, you know, I could use a couple more bobby pins here and there, but that's like with any any messy bun, even when. You know, I, I'm fighting with the one to make it look decent. I have to use a thousand bobby pins. This one, I just have to like pin the occasional strand down. But I am really pleasantly surprised with this product. Um, I'm pulling my hair a little bit just because I like kind of big fluffy buns too. <gasps> you guys! And that was super duper easy. Took me a second, but it was really easy. Okay, um, uh, what's my final thoughts? I really liked it. <laughs> I really did. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. I can't really see that well, so it might look like poop, but <laughs> you get the point. My my mirror is so far away from me, and the viewfinder is even smaller, so I don't I don't really have a lot to work with to see what the heck I'm doing. But I'm really happy with this, guys, and this could come in handy. I could literally do this every day for work, not give a crap, <laughs> and I'm done in five minutes, and it looks like I put like. I mean, minimal effort, let's be real. Like, everybody knows a messy bun is, is quick. But I've always struggled, again, with with messy buns. I, oh, oh my gosh. You guys have no idea how frustrated I would get at messy buns. I'm like, I can't even make a messy look look decent. <laughs> but this, like, kind of took the effort right off of your shoulders, and I'm super excited, you guys. So, again, this is kind of a quick video, but check this product out. <laughs> Seriously, I'm actually really happy with this and I am looking forward to using this much more often again giving my hair a break because frankly it's I mean it's damage free. I'm not I mean I'm I'm tugging obviously. I'm fin finagling with my hair but um, there's no heat applied. I'm not using like any excess product. Um, I don't see why I couldn't use this on like freshly washed hair so it's not like I have to style my hair beforehand. I don't think it really matters if my natural hair is curly or straight because the bun itself has like a wave to it, you know? So it's just, I don't know. And it, to me, it doesn't really look fake. I mean, I obviously wish you can see some of my highlights in my real hair, so it, you know, it's just a matter of I gotta put in some more highlights, but um, I am super excited and the mm, color match is really well too. That's one thing I was a little bit worried about because I've gotten some wigs before that were just way off, but the color match was really, really good too. So I would recommend this product. This is a product that I bought with my own money. Nobody like sent it to me or anything. Um, I saw somebody advertising it or something and I went on Amazon, found it, and here it is today. The shipping did take a little bit though. It took probably... I think three to four weeks from shipping to actually being at my doorstep. So you're going to have to wait a little bit. But I think the wait is worth it. And I'm super, super excited to give my real hair a break five times a week. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. If you did, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.